Hey everybody, Steve the Average Gamer. We're continuing our trek through Chapter 5 of the campaign Supernova, A Noise of Thunder, is Mission 30. Your scavenging bots and mechs have started to strip and repurpose some damaged Trade Federation bases. Recycling scrap is one of the holy tenets. Not everybody accepts your tenets. A Trade Federation fleet is closing on one of your scavenging flocks. Their intolerance is predictable. Defend your flock. All right, so we're going up against a Trade Federation fleet. They have a uh, 10 authority advantage starting off with us. The achievement, scrap a Trade Federation card, Trade Federation blob, and the last one is scrap the whole rainbow. Blue, green, red, and yellow. Rules are standard for us to move on. We'll drop the sound down. And we'll hop right into it. Um, this mission's a pain in the ass, folks. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. The port of call is in play to start off. It's an outpost with six defense, and you have to go through it. You're starting off with a standard deck. That three trade plus whatever the heck they have in their hand, they can buy the obliterator on the first turn, which this is a new card we haven't seen actually so far. Seven attack. If your opponent has two or more bases in play, i.e. me in this case, they'll have 13 total attack and the ally ability is to draw another card. This card is super powerful in the game. Unfortunately, there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to afford it. I'm actually going to scrap the Viper straight out because I can't attack. I can't break through that line. And watch. This base is such a pain in the ass to break through. It's pathetic. Alright, um, we'll do something that gives me some health and a supply bot. Let me scrap some stuff faster. Okay, um, now it's time to start buying some stuff. Now it's time to start going for the heavy stuff. Alright, we'll pick up another trade pod. Battle pod and a Federation shuttle. Still can't break through the lines. Recycling stations would be helpful if they didn't buy them all up. Okay, just going to get rid of these cars that are not helping me right now. Recycling station, Imperial Fighter is going to be good. Um, this does trade. I need something that's got some punch to it. So the cutter, it's nice to keep my health up, which I'm already up for, but I'm not going to be staying up for for long. Get a battle pod. Nothing else I can do. Still can't break through the lines. The mech world would have, should have actually been my purchase. And of course they take it. Alright. Uh, scrap a card in the trade row. I'm going to scrap the supply bot. Hey, hey, I can definitely buy that bastard. Taking the blob carrier early. Any ship without paying its cost, put it on top of the deck. If I play it with a blob fighter, which I don't have yet. Um, that's going to be a big thing. Kick the port of call out of play, mainly because it's going to cut their trade down significantly. They only had uh, five that time instead of eight. So let's. Let's actually figure out what I want to buy first. Where do that? Oh, new, another new card. We haven't actually seen this one. This is called the Trade Raft. Trade Federation ship. It acts a little bit like a scout, but the ally ability lets you draw up another card, and if you want to dump it, you get a second trade for it. That's actually not a bad card, so I'll pick that one up. There's a blob fighter, that's what I need. Um, defense bots, these are fun. You have two or more bases, gain eight attack. I don't have two or more bases yet, because otherwise I'd go for the embassy yacht. I'll grab the imperial fighter first, then the defense bot. I'm gonna scrap the hive, and I'm gonna gamble and hope that the command ship is still gonna be available on my next turn, even though I'm only gonna have Three, four, five, six attack available to me. Or six trade available to me, excuse me. Alright. Play this guy to scrap one of them. Recycling station. I'm going to discard these two. I'm gambling heavy here. Didn't work out. Okay. Embassy Yacht's helpful. So is the Cutter. It's... At this point, the, what I have available to me is just get cards that are helpful. Come on. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Five. Okay. 
Discard a card. I'm going to discard my Imperial Fighter. Three, four, five, six. You can only draw up. Grab a card in my hand or discard pile. That one. Play these guys to draw up. Discard him. Seven. Scrap him. Command ship. Scrap a card in the hand or discard pile. I'll discard the shuttle just because it's going to go toward that achievement up here. Or just grab those. Somehow I have the bomb card scrap. Oh, it must be one in the trade row. That must be how it does. But since this guy, there's two bases in play, I've got a total of nine attacks. So, Port of Call first, Mech World, Recycling Station. He has to put out another uh, Star Empire card before he makes me discard now. I've got nine defense up, and the, I've got two uh, blob, car uh, blob cards, so I'm going to pick up the flagship for free. Alright, this and this. Um, I'll scrap the War World. That's going to get me a little closer to the achievement. The Mega Mech's a good one. I like the Mega Actually, I'm going to cancel that. Hang on. Um, it's going to go to the top of my deck. Okay, the Mega Mech's a really good card, and I'm going to pray that it's still out, because I want the flagship. Alright. Um... I guess I'll pick up the trade wheel. A AI likes ignoring these cards that get thrown out, so. So I've got, I got nine authority coming my way. Just with this, so we'll do this. It doesn't really matter, I can play them all. There's no consequence for it. Um, What do I have left? Yeah, I've got them all, sweet. Bye bye brain world, I don't want you in the deck. Um. I'm gonna go for the supply bot. And now he's down to 10 health south of me. Okay, I'm gonna play the trade wheel and that. I'm actually gonna take the one trade for him, grab the Mega Mech, because that's gonna let me put a base back into my hand and replay it, or shelve one of theirs. Scrap the mothership so the AI doesn't get their hands on it. Play that guy, get a little bit of attack boost. Here we go. Okay, we're cooking with gas now. I was actually afraid this wasn't going to work. No attacks. Note that there was zero attack coming. That was just a buying turn or... I didn't buy anything that turn. That, that seemed odd. Alright, I'm going to do this. Scrap a card in the discard. Bye bye That that. What the hell on, guys? Here we go. Discard these two. <laughs> it's that tactical playthrough. We'll get plenty of attack from that. Scrap him. Oh, I have left. Yeah, I'm out of scouts now because that was the uh, there's one left. In the deck. I'm gonna destroy the target base using my command ship's ability. Play these guys. Buy whatever the hell I want. I'll start with Royal Redoubt, because if I keep the Recycling Station in play, that'll uh, do pretty well for me. Um, Mega Mech sounds fine. Um, don't have anything else I can buy, nothing else I can scrap for, so... They go away, and they're down to 10 health. I'm I'm quite proud of how I'm doing at this point. Let's see if he takes... He can't take any of my bases out. Right, let me do this to draw up. Choose the coin, and you're going to see what I'm going to do here. Return my recycling station to my hand. Play it again. Get another trade. Hmm. Not really a lot of things I want, so I'll just grab the blob destroyer. It's over at this point. I can, I'm can. i just going to blow through their lines. Um, I have them all, so I don't have to worry about doing any of the scrappings. I'll scrap the trade wheel. Oh, I, okay. New, another new card here. This is the Imperial Trader, also in the basis set. You see the little B on the bottom right of the card. This is a five cost 
card for the Star Empire gives you three coin and lets you draw a card, but if there's another Star Empire card or base on the field, it gives you also four attack. I do like this card quite a bit, and it does find its way into my hand and my deck in many playthroughs. But that is it for Mission 30. Let the celebratory music there go for a second. But hey, we actually made it through this one. Um, I did uh, try to go through this one earlier, and I got quite frustrated and pretty much rage quit. Um, but this one, I think it, it's very tactical on what you get in what order. I know there's a lot of people who play by going for trade for the first couple of turns and then switching over to attack. I think for this one, you may have to go for attack right out of the gate. Get the port of call out of the way, then go for trade. So whenever the port of call comes back up, you have the units to take it out while continuing to build up your force to take it down. Then again, Trade Federation played a big role in this. You saw how many Trade Fed cards I had, and at one point where it was all Trade Federation on the board, just to get those cards to keep my authority up. I started off with 50. You can see behind here, I ended with 61 authority, which was more than the Federation fleet had when they started this match. Uh, we'll move on to chapter 31 now. Like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Thank you all for watching, and I shall see you all later.